Good morning. Welcome to Two Girls Treasure. Welcome to the studio. I'm Diane Pruitt. We have some things to do today, but first, we have to finish our project. If you were with us yesterday, thank you for being here, and you saw that we were working on this awesome serving board. It's a cutting board, but I like it more for just a server. And we used one of our decoupage central decoupage papers. We're going to blend the colors to coordinate with the tone of the decoupage paper because you know I love doing that. And I have these tiny little feet cut. We're going to measure and mark the back of the serving board and we are going to place our tiny little feet and then we're going to have a serving board that has feet so it's a riser. I just think it's a cute idea, a little bit of a play on the traditional risers that we see everyone making right now and a little bit of a spin on the holiday season. Ting, ting, ting. See what I did there? A spin on the holiday season. What could you possibly mean? Well, today at 1130, we are going to gather here in the studio because it is the day of the Iron Orchid Designs 2024 Holiday Collection Party. It's a celebration of 15 brand new products and we're going to have a great time. We have three very specific projects planned. So if you are available, stop by, make your reservation and come join us at the studio. Even if you don't want to stay and play until like three o'clock this afternoon, well, you can come by and you can make your purchases. You can make your purchases online at noon. High noon today, everything in that holiday collection will be made available to you. It will ship quickly if i have to stay late tonight to get everything packed and shipped i will everything will go out either today or in the morning we will get your packages out to you so you can enjoy all of the wonderful wonderful project offerings that we have for you today i'm so excited for them because they're cool lots of specials to go along with if you did not get an email from me yesterday outlining how fabulous this launch will be and all the goodies you can get with your purchases, well, when we finish here this morning, I will post that said email so that you can receive the information on Facebook. If you have not registered for email, well, do it. Send me a message if you did not receive your email and I will add you to the email list. Make sure I have your email address so I can do that. Let's get started today. I painted the back while we were waiting. That's what took me so long. Sorry. Um, I can be sitting right here and I will completely lose track of time because I'm I'm all in what I'm doing before I even get started doing it. Instead of going late, I should start early, shouldn't I? That's a real thing. But let me tip you down. We're working on the rolly table today. We will be for a while. Look at that beautiful finish. This is the Rethunk Junk Paint Countertop Kit. This stuff holds up, y'all. If it holds up to me and all the nonsense that I do, it will hold up to your family, I swear. So here's what we need to do. We need to measure in and we need to measure down so that we have exactly the right dimensions so that when we put our feet on, we can glue them to the back. And I'm going to shoot a pin nail through the top these won't ever be overloaded shouldn't be anyway so they don't need screws through them that's a whole other realm 
we're not going to investigate that today but what we do have is a nine and five eighths spread and if we want our legs in let's grab a couple and just sort of place them and see where it makes sense we probably want to come in about an inch and a half on each side so that'll be eight and five eighths and then that right there inch and a quarter inch and an eighth we'll remeasure we'll make sure this one's tipped just a little bit it's okay we're not going for pure perfection and i hand cut these so they're not going to be just right but we'll make it set where it sets as straight as possible and let's come down here and we'll do it again inch and a half in and inch and a half Ooh, what was that two two there we go it was loud whatever it was all right now i'm gonna measure in and that's that's a two we want our center inch and a half in our center should be inch and a half so there we go. And our center should be inch and a half in here as well. So let's bring that on down. Center should be inch and a half right here. So let's bring that on down. Now, we're not going to put these on right this second. So all we're going to do is draw the circle where they belong. We're inch and a half square, inch and a half up, inch and a half in. We can mark these. So that they're exactly where they need to be. Oh, that's perfect. Inch and a half that way. And we need to go inch and a half right there. And let's mark that circle. Got that done all right inch and a half inch and a half to the center outstanding I'm not even gonna say perfect I'm just gonna say outstanding there we go so we have our spots marked the thing about marking them on the back is that you can come over on the front you can measure in and just mark a dot where you're going to drop your pin nail so that it goes straight through the center of your feet. That's that simple. Little bit of measuring, little bit of marking. I'm going to take the rotator out from under. There we go, because we don't need it for this part. We're going to grab our colors, and we got, we got the bottom part of this looking really good. We're going to grab our colors and we're going to shade up and around the top side today so that we can make her very beautiful and i got out some silver because we're gonna she needs to be shiny we might even drop some glitter in there but i doubt it but we might please keep in mind wreath on junk paint products whether it is your metallic whether it is your paint or whether it is your wait for it, wait for it, stain top or your tough top. These products are food safe. So once we're finished and we seal this with tough top, this will be food safe and you can use it. I don't know if it'll be ready to use today, but wouldn't this be a lovely platter for some of our hors d'oeuvres? I think it would be. Let's get started. Well, we already started, but let's keep moving. All right, I have my one of my favorite brushes, and I'm going to give a little spritz to our edges. And I'm gonna daub a little bit of our slate. And we're going to blend our edges with our midnight and bring this on up into our curve. 
both sides. We need a little bit here, both sides. Yesterday I put a little bit of our rustic clay in. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that. I don't like the way that turned. It did not suit me. And we're gonna make sure to do our sides. Because I like the sides blended with the front. It just gives it a really neat look. And I moved the paper towels and I'm sure they're right here. We did some massive cleaning yesterday. Don't judge. Wait till you see the studio. Love this, love this. All right, a little bit too much of a spritz going on. It's okay. We can, let's let it dry. I've got the fan on it. And we will let that dry just a little bit. I'm going to put my dark over here. I got some new brushes, y'all. Um, in case you were missing our two inch um, man made fiber, nice and thin brushes. <gasps> I found a substitute and I love them and we will have them. We will have them because that's just, that's just what we do. We find good brushes. We share them with you. All right. I'm going to put our linen across the top here. Let's go ahead, we'll just go ahead and brush all the way up our handle. And we'll bring our linen down in to the edge. And then we'll take another brush. I'm gonna dip the water. And we're just gonna blend a little right here. Just pulling some of that slate across into the linen. I pulled some of the linen across into the slate. And just move it until it blends nicely. And then I'm going to come up the handle just a piece. And we'll blend that edge right there. where the decoupage paper meets the paint. We'll give it just a little bit heavier blend. And for really good measure, like really, really good measure, let's blend in just a little bit of our cactus rose mix right here. I'm gonna put a little bit more linen down and I'm going to put just a little bit more slate down The more you work it, the more you'll get it where you love it. Just a little bit of rustic clay around the top. And then we'll even take another brush a little bit of a little bit of mist and let's blend this in
I love blending to soften the colors. It's not really about making a different color. It's just about softening the colors that you do have. And I'll clean that brush off and I'm gonna mist again. And we're just gonna blend the rest of that linen all the way across. Clean it off again. And let's bring some of that slate around the curve into that top edge right there. And on up the handle, just a little piece. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. All right, let's stop dealing with the blending for a minute and let's fill back in our rich color. And I'm just going to daub some paint on where I want that rich color. right around the curve so that our blend makes sense. And then we'll bring our color back down. And we're back down into our midnight and dur, 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 midnight's right here. So we will spritz brush, we'll grab just a little bit of that midnight and we'll just blend the edge of that slate right there. I'm going to cover up where I put a little bit of that cactus rose yesterday. We'll get back to that. I think I'll use a little bit different brush to do that. And a little bit more spritz. And then we will blend this right back into the slate on the other side. I'm going to put just a little bit more slate so I've got something to move with. Otherwise, I'm just moving the midnight. There we go. Just a little, little spritz. Little, little spritz. I'm going to pull this midnight down in. Let's see who this is. Do, do, do. If you're just joining, thank you so much for being here. Do, do, do. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm excited about today. I hope you are too. I hope you can make it. I hope you at least stop in between 1130 and 12 to see the products. Stop in at noon. Come in at noon to watch the Iron Orchid Designs Sisters release video. And here's why that's important, y'all. When you're looking at products, we all have our own ideas when we look at them. And then sometimes we're like, what in the world would I use this specific one for? I love it, but what would? what's the application? What makes sense? Well, I have found over the years that if you go directly back to the source of creation, which in this case is going to be the Iron Orchid Design Sisters, you get that inspiration you're looking for because they will tell you what their intention was for each product. And when they tell you that, then you can go, oh, 
Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. But then that makes all of your projecting a little more clear. It makes the purpose for the product a little more clear. And when you get it directly from the maker, you get the best idea of how you can use their product to make your projects amazing. And I think that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to bring a little bit more cactus rose in right here. And then we're going to do, 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 do linen. We're going to tap in just a little more linen across this top. Just some. We need a little bit of slate here and here. And we'll take one more brush. Blending takes several brushes and you always want to do three because you want one for each color and then you want your third one so that you can do this. Not hard at all. Not complicated at all. Just give it a little whirl. Just give it a little whirl. And then, oh, she's so pretty. Oh, throw some hearts out for our beautiful little Halloween fairy. She's so pretty. Throw those hearts out there. I'm not even going to ask for laughy faces on this one. Throw those hearts out because she turned out beautiful. I'm going to blend these top edges right here and around our handle. I love the way this turned out, y'all. She looks so good. Wow. Dun, dun, dun. I love it. Love it. I hope you do too. We will be creating some Halloween or Christmas style serving boards, some holiday serving boards today. Look, Scott. I do. Look how beautiful. Isn't that going to be a pretty serving board? I already have the bottom side measured and marked for our feet. Here's the key. You're welcome. I like that. I really like that. Let's touch those feet up again while we're letting her dry so that we can put the feet on. I think I can do that without knocking over the world, but let's see. Let's see how that goes. I'm not real sure that's a great idea, but there I am doing it. I'm going to tip it up like this. That's almost better. Whoosh. We cap that. Oh, there we go. There we go. That works. All right. Let's grab our sunset. Give it a good shake. And then let's do another coat on our feet because I want our feet to be really pretty. Our midnight looks good. We'll do a touch up on them. But let's run our sunset back around one more time, just for good measure. I like a nice, rich finish, so I don't mind if I do multiple coats. And since today is October 1st, oh, we've got company. Good morning. Let's see who's in the house. Well, I'm not sure. I wonder if it was the daylight making. Now I hear a person. Good morning. 
but a person does not hear me. Oh, pretty, pretty. All right. So let's finish this up. It's 930. I have a table to set, some snackies to lay out, and we're going to have a celebration of the season. We will start at 1130 with our light hors d'oeuvres and beverages. We have coffee. We have water. We will taste test some of our Mrs. Darlington's products. And we will fellowship with one another because that's just great to do. That's a good time. We get to know each other and um, hang out and, and chat with each other. And that's always nice to do. It's great to meet your fellow makers. And at 12 o'clock, we will watch the sisters video from Iron Orchid Designs headquarters and we will listen to them talk about all the new products and what their what their inspiration and what their ideas are and then we will make we have three projects we have a few more seats at the table so make a reservation studio bag holders will enjoy the hors d'oeuvres for free and if you're not a studio bag holder you have you still have time to buy one if you are online then you will have time to order at noon and we should be able to get your packages out today I'll do the very best I can to ship everything possible and then well then you can make all of your purchases you can buy all the materials to go with we have lots of specials to offer you today. Rethunk Junk Paint specials, free with purchase specials. It goes, there are like five different discount codes for today. Seriously. I want you to play and have fun and relax and enjoy. I want us to all, all keep all of the people who have been so disturbingly affected by Hurricane Helene. Typically, we always think of coastal towns, and unfortunately, in the case of Hurricane Helene, this time, so many of our inland areas, our foothills, and our mountain towns are in dire need of love and prayer and supplies so if you have a local fire station that is doing a food drive or a, a supplies drive please please consider putting your money toward your local organizations who are offering help if you're not local if you're halfway or all the way across the country be cautious who you donate your funds to not all the money that you donate to large organizations go to help the people who need it so desperately. Look at the areas, look at the local organizations in those areas and find, find someone, find an organization that is worthy of your money who are going to absolutely help the people who desperately need the help. There are lots of resources, lots of information online, lots of telephone numbers. Do your research real quick. And uh, I know our Secretary of State's office in South Carolina and possibly even North Carolina and Georgia would be happy to help you if you're not sure. Keep praying. Keep praying for the people who need your prayers the most. I hope you have a wonderful and a blessed day. I'm looking forward to our celebration starting at 1130 today. 
products and more products and more new products are available here at Two Girls Treasure in store and online starting at noon Eastern Time, not a minute before. Thank you for being here. I'm Diane Pruitt. We're in the studio at Two Girls Treasure. We'll see you right back here tomorrow and we'll feature the new products. Until then, take care. Bye y'all.